Hey, what's up guys? This is Oakley and it's going to be another online multiplayer battle. I'm over here and I'm going to have the force stationed on the west over here. My ally is actually going to be Bactria, so I did bring the barbarian faction here and my troop composition. Let's go ahead and put this on slow motion. So I have three of these mercenary axe warriors. They're very cheap but pretty effective. Three of these Illyrian hoplites. One of the Illyrian noble hoplites. And over on my left I have three of these mercenary Celtic warriors backed up by mercenary light peltas and then some of these Illyrian calves. So my force has a lot of these big cheap infantry blocks and they're pretty decently armored and then I have some more cavalry that I'm going to be positioning in the front that I'm sending out at first to sort of uh, poke and probe at my opponent. My ally right here has a decent component of heavy cav, scissor cavalry. Uh, Thoreo spears here backed up by pikemen and then right here a lot of eastern spearmen and in the back elite Persian archers so he does have good range advantage. At this point, all we can see from our opponent is going to be a pretty eh, decent build up here on the hill. Mighty horse and noble horse, so very strong uh, cavalry component. And then up in the front, what he has are these fierce swords backed up by Celtic youths. So these are going to be a pretty strong, uh, nervy forces. However, they don't have much armor, so that's where the elite Persian archers will be very good. And I, I like seeing these matchups because that's where you get a lot of these trade offs between the factions, and uh, it's really cool to see how they play together. Anyways, the force over here is going to be Swaby, so he's going to be coming in, he has the Noble Riders, and basically he has a mishmash of forces here. Two of these Germanic Slingers, Berserkers, Wolf Warriors, Wolf Warriors, Wolf Warriors, Wolf Warriors, and then Woden has Spears, and some more Berserkers here. So he has a very heavy elite force, and so we're going to be closing in. My goal was to stick most of my forces here to reinforce, because I thought that the combined force of these two troops would be a bit too much in the center and then I wanted to push and probe on this side I have a lot of these uh, sort of javelin men and skirmishers uh, especially these slave slingers I wanted to pick off at his most uh, expensive troops so you can see that's what I'm going to be doing at this point my cavalry are trying to push around the sides and uh, I'm just trying to do as much damage as I can up front and uh, knock out as many of these troops as possible in the the early game because I know if I can knock out those guys um, then that's a lot of cost efficiency for my men so I'm gonna keep my slave slingers here up close and they're gonna be targeting some of his more expensive troops we can go ahead and even watch that so my opponent is gonna stop on the hill and he's gonna try and exchange fire with me again uh, he can't advance too quickly because I have cavalry on the flanks so that's what's sort of halting his advance and I'm going to pull over with more of my forces here. Cavalry coming to reinforce, backed up by a lot of these Illyrian... Uh, I believe these are the Illyrian hoplites. Yeah, here we go. Coming to reinforce because look at this Swaby force here. Too large for me to handle. So I'm going to be coming in, trying to pull them into the center and have a, uh, a big formation around the side. My cavalry are additionally going around the flanks. And uh, over in the center, we're having even more cavalry rush to my side. He's preparing for a side assault, so the more these uh, Germanic troops push out, the more they're at, uh, sort of they face the danger of being completely encircled. However, you will see a turn to the battle coming up relatively soon. So he's going to charge forward. He's going to allow his units here actually to get out some shots first. These guys are going to get into shield wall and try and soak up my fire. However, my javelins are going to be getting around the side. And I'm just targeting these berserkers. So. Uh, I believe those are, yeah, these are Berserkers, the Wolf Warriors are to the left of them. But anyways, they're going to charge forward, and they're going to just take volley after volley after volley from my cheap mercenary peltas here. And uh, he can chase my guys as much as he wants, however, I have more troops that I can fall back to. So my mercenary Celtic troops are just going to be falling back, and at all times I have more of these skirmishers here, just waiting for his forces to get in range. So I'm going to go ahead and counter charge these guys soon. At the same time, however, he's coming in with too many cavalry for my one unit here. What I decide to do is come in and charge in here. I want to get rid of his berserkers. Those are his sort of uh, where he put the most of his money in there. And then I'm hoping to charge in from the side with some of my forces here. So I have a big U on uh, the Swaby, and I'm deciding to uh, sort of shield up right here. I have my hoplite wall. These guys will be good enough to hold back against the barbarian troops coming up. And these guys, yeah, pretty good armor. So I'm hoping to soak up his heavy troops and uh, wait for more guys to come and engage. And at the same time, I'm charging in and knocking out his most fierce troops and uh, sort of targeting, yes, these wolf warriors with as many of my uh, peltas here as possible. So I've been able to knock out a good amount of those guys first before they even get into the battle. So I'm going to bide for time. I know given enough um, combat time, these guys will uh, tear me to pieces. But uh, with the, the peltas coming in here, and all of these, yeah, you can see how they're just tearing his forces apart. 
let's go ahead and put this on play. I'm going to be moving my cavalry around the back, trying to help reinforce this. However, we have more noble rivers coming into here, countercharging my cab, and they're going to be pushing right through the center. I'm going to try and intercept these guys with my own mercenary Celtic warriors. These guys are going to be reforming as his men sort of spear me in the back, and that's going to, just one volley is going to basically destroy my guys. So I put them in shield wall to try and hold back against his forces, but the uh, those wolf warriors absolutely rout my forces as well as the noble horse. So I'm just crumbling. I don't have enough quality troops over here to uh, to survive. So that's why I'm falling back to this mercenary wall. And you can see my general here is holding together, although uh, albeit barely. And now here we have the heroic charge by the Persians coming in and supporting me. They're going to be striking at the unsupported rear lines and helping to even up that fight. And here I go. Mercenary Axe Warriors helping to envelop that. At the same time, I do have my own cavalry here who went around the back. This is where we're having our main engagement here. I'm going to be finishing off the skirmishers here. However, just as we think the battle is going just as planned, look what's cresting the hill back here. Tons and tons of ambush forces. So they were deployed in the back of our army and they're waiting for this point in time. So here we go. An entire other army is kind of, yeah, getting out from the, uh, the zone right here. And you can see more and more of them are appearing behind us. That is exactly not what we want to see. His cavalry are sweeping in through here, crushing my forces. I'm just holding in uh, for dear life. My peltists are still doing a decent amount of damage. I was able to hold his guys back with my hoplite units. I was very thankful for those guys. And then the um, charging back of the Bactrian cav and all those is helping to even up those fights. And uh, I am getting chewed apart. However, I do decide to pull back with some of my guys that I'd kept in reserve. And they're going to be helping to uh, even the fight here. But you can see just how effective this rear charge is going to be because... Uh, Bactria was actually, uh, I was referring to him as Persia, it's actually Bactria was relying on presenting a, f uh, a line of spears to the opponents, but once they charge in through the back, that's going to throw all of that into chaos, so he is now sandwiched on both flanks and he's not doing incredibly well, uh, although I do have my cavalry rear charging this flank, trying to mop those guys up so we can focus on this side of the battlefield. Uh, however, he is crumbling, especially over here, the focusing of the guerrilla forces on some of these exposed Bactrian Thoreo spear units, uh, they're going to be collapsing entirely, so this flank is falling apart slowly. And uh, yeah, you can see here the combined might of the Noble Horse and the Noble Riders. So uh, all the elite infantry and cavalry is just collapsing my forces. And uh, some of the reinforcements I had gotten here are just going to get countercharged. So I'm getting picked apart. We do have more cavalry left. And they're going to be charging the general. They wouldn't have spears here. So hopefully we can get that morale blow and uh, finish those guys off. I'm going to be reforming my more... Uh, my, uh, bleh. Mercenary Peltas here behind a line of my guys and we're gonna have some more archers who are fleeing that battle And I'm gonna have to take out those fierce swords My cavalry over here is still alive. They're very quick very fast and nimble I'm gonna try and knock out his skirmishers over here My forces that I did engage are gonna be doing pretty well um, Holding their own they're still pretty high in number as long as I don't get a cavalry charge from the back So that's why I'm hoping these guys don't swing around, but uh, you can just see he's mopping up the remainder of my guys however these uh, Bactrian forces right here are going to be uh, a godsend. Heavily armored, heavily equipped guys coming into the fight, and I'm going to be reinforcing with some of these Illyrian hoplites to tie down this fight. And then also here, um, he's going to be countercharging these fierce swords. So that's going to be the best way to deal with these lightly armored guys. So that should even up this fight here. I'm rallying more of my mercenary axe warriors into this fight. I had a pretty good amount of reserves, and this battle is now starting to swing into our favor. But now he's going to pull apart, peel aside. And um, yeah, our forces here are doing pretty well. My mercenary axe warriors just finished off some troops. However, I can see I'm trying to decide if I want to reinforce this battle. And take a look at this. I decided at this point in time that there isn't much uh, to be done on this side. Three units were just freed up to my two. His Thoreo spear is going to be routed, as well as these guys. At least I can get a sandwich as night hunters, and then more of our forces here are going to be rallying. But this is not a wing we can count on at all. Back on this side of the battlefield, the Swaby Wolf Warriors are just tearing into us, as well as some of these Noble Horse and the um, yeah the Berserkers are just killing our men. They're doing a lot of damage, so I had a pretty good amount of units. However, they're very uh, <laughs> low quality, so it's starting to show pretty severely right here. My forces on this flank, or my allies' forces, are killing the Fierce Swords, so that's excellent. His Berserkers are really down in number, but I'm going to be focusing more on these Wolf Warriors. And I'm going to allow the Cavalry to charge in to these various troops and knock them out. So, looks like we're going to win this engagement. However, as I said, this is the thing we feared, was the return of the Barbarian Cavalry, because our guys are really strung out, and he still has more infantry on this side to hold back. So I'm going to be reforming and trying to prepare for this Cavalry Charge. 
These guys are sort of winded, so I'm going to try and form them up to face the opponent and tell them to go into shield wall. However, it doesn't look like they were able to do it in time. We're just going to get rear charged, sandwiched on both sides, and uh, that's going to spell disaster for our forces, especially since we don't have a general nearby. Um, let's take a look at these axe warriors. Yeah, they're just dropping, um, and they broke there with about 100 men left. Same with these guys, so there we go. Total collapse of those forces. We do still have a couple units here so archers are going to be doing some damage getting some shots off here these guys are going to be trying to sort of hold the breach here and now he's pulling them over on this flank to try and help us even up this fight however oh man it's going to be super close the only remaining force over here is the berserkers they're doing very well look at this taking out more and more of the cavalry forces if i were him i would disengage the cav and let me just get rid of them with my remaining forces here i get a volley into them and that's going to go ahead and knock out the remainder of the berserkers so this is about it. This is all we have left on this side. Elite Persian Archers, Persian Archers, Pikemen, and uh, yeah, Mercenary Axe Warriors. And then we do have some of these Citizen Cav. However, the General, the Bactrian Rural Cav, routed right here. This is the last thing we wanted. We definitely need those guys for their striking capability. If we could knock out this enemy Cav, um, then that would lend us the upper hand. We can uh, dodge and dip and duck dive, whatever you want to call it, around these remaining forces and use our archers to take them out. However, some of these archers were too exposed and we lost them, so that's a pretty big tragedy. Anyways, most of our forces are hidden here, so our opponent doesn't exactly know what we're doing with our guys, but uh, last he saw we didn't have many forces left. Over on this side of the battlefield, you can see our fully formed units, basically almost at like, I don't know, I'd say 60-70% health. Uh, they're completely broken, so that's what happens. I think my and my allies' forces were too reliant on these cheaper units to have a lot of quantity, uh, and uh, yeah, they just broke with uh, a lot of excess men, so it's not very cost efficient. But at the same time, we were able to do some decent strikes with my rear cavalry charge, which evened up sort of the cost efficiency, and then also the way I was able to use my peltus against some of his units, uh, especially the, the wolf warriors and the berserkers. Right here, one of the problems we're having is these guys are trying to rejoin the battle. Um, however, the cavalry are in hot pursuit, so we're going to have to commit some of our cavalry forces to intercept. The problem with that being that um, he has two of these cavalry forces, so if he decides to countercharge with both of them, just like he's doing here, that's going to cause us to lose our one and only cavalry unit, so probably not the best move. Um, however, we are getting some more elite Persian archers to put in fire on these guys, and uh, yeah, we just lost our forces for not much in exchange. However, these... Um, Royal Bactrian Cav, they came back from routing, so that's going to be excellent. Can't quite finish these guys off, but at least it's going to be enough to tie them down. However, he does get into our Persian archers. Uh, I kind of wish my ally had brought them <clears throat> into the fold of our shields a little bit sooner, um, but uh, the opponents also did a good job of maneuvering around us and using the, uh, the field of view and the vision to get these cavalry around our flanks. But uh, yeah, here our archers are actually still kind of alive. They're starting to route. However, they were able to drive off one of these cavalry units. We broke one of the noble horse, so a decent exchange. However, at 33, these mighty horse are still going to be a problem. And instead of routing, they're going to go ahead and turn about and charge, counter charge these archers who are actually formed up and they have spears. I'm not sure about the stats on these guys, but it means they are a little bit more effective at fighting against cavalry. So at least the archers are tying down his forces. They were back at 33 before, now they're down to 22, 20. So that's going to be enough. It's kind of a sacrifice allowing us to take out his cavalry units. So that should be pretty good. I'm not sure if these guys actually end up routing. Uh, however, it would be a huge deal for us if they were. Yeah, there we go. So they're going to break. Um, what that does mean, however, is... Look at this. We're deaf with 21 of the Bactrian Royal Cav. 148 of the Axe Warriors. And then 67 Pikemen. So... It looks like we're going to be going against the opponents who now just have, I think, three or four full infantry battalions. Um, however... Oh, man. It's a really indecisive moment. It really depends how our forces are able to engage. Cavalry units um, can basically make or break this battle, especially with pikes. If we deploy these guys effectively, uh, pikemen with, you know, they can chew up any frontal assault, especially against these guys. Tie them up, have my units hold uh, the flanking and have the cavalry strike from the back. That's going to be our main approach. But uh, it turns out, actually, look at this. Fierce swords, gorilla, gorilla, and then more gorillas. So each of these are almost at 100%. So this is kind of the epic last duel. This would be the last scene in the movie where our heroes in the distance have killed, you know, their portion of the uh, of the army. And then in the distance, they look him and on the crest of the hill is going to be all these barbarians charging forward. So that's kind of what's happening here. They're going to be rallying. They're eager to finish us off. 
Right now what we're doing is we're trying to form up, uh, have a wide front, and uh, what we're going to be doing here is kind of a dance, because both of these units still have some um, spears left, so what we're going to be trying to do is charge, retreat, charge, retreat, and especially against these pike forces, um, this player who's charging uh, the Nervi, he's going to be doing very well. You're going to see what he's going to do. Let's actually watch it from the pike perspective, because this is exactly what he's targeting. He's going to charge into these guys, and at the last moment cancel that charge, but try and get the, um, the spear throws off. So you can just see how effective that was. So he's going to make sure he uses his um, sort of uh, javelins to the most efficient. And look at this, the layers and layers of spears. So that's going to be a problem. I'm going to counter charge just to make sure that he can't get away with it. So I'm going to knock out half of his men and try and keep them from charging straight to, to our guys. But take a look at this. He's just going to keep doing this tactic and he has even more of these guys who are going to try and throw their spears. We're going to go ahead and counter charge figuring this is the moment. Here we go, we do kind of cut these guys into half, and now his forces are going to be charging into these pikemen, however these guys still had javelins, so that's going to be kind of sealing the deal. These guys were picked off without even engaging in the fight. Over here I'm going to counter charge, I know my guys can't last very long, so I'm hoping the cavalry can rally, but uh, it looks like charging through they were in fact broken. So that's going to be it for the battleful battle, a lot of give and takes on each front, and a very 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 effective move with the ambush in the back, I really... Um, did not see that coming, so great move on our opponent's part. Let's go ahead and watch this uh, end result. Yeah, kills were pretty evenly spread, however you can see Alec over here got a lot of kills, and uh, yeah, Swaby forces, damn, he got a lot of kills with these uh, wolf warriors. We should focus them down more. My guys on the other side, you know, I did get a lot with these Illyrian Kev, and uh, a decent spread on these mercenary axemen. These guys are relatively cheap, so they did well, and uh, the mercenary Peltus definitely paid for themselves. Um, my ally did okay, however, as I was saying, his really cheap infantry, they really didn't amount to much, so he probably should have invested more in these Thoreo spears and maybe more in these elite Persian archers. They got a lot of kills, uh, especially the heavy calf, that would have been a bit better. Otherwise, Alec got a lot of kills, um, most of these mighty horse that were charging into us, and uh, yeah, his, his um, guerrilla forces here, they cleaned house. These are the guys who came in from the back at the end, uh, and they just did a lot of damage. So definitely great use of tactics and uh, a valiant battle. I really enjoyed that one. So hope you guys enjoyed it too. Thanks so much.